the guys and guys and guys. And today I'll be showing you how to fix a respring boot. Um, this might not work for all of you, so I have alternative solutions that you could do. Um, so we'll just get right on to this. Um, this usually happens when you have a, or well, always happens when you have a jailbreak from the device, and also when you have a lot of tweets like I do. I don't have that much, but um, so. I'll just go put my thing in to respring, but sometimes it, it might not happen, but I'll show you how to fix it anyway. Alright. So it would be like in a string like this, but it would keep on repeating. So basically what we would do is, I'll just show you in a second. You would, let me just take this case off actually, it made it easier for me. You have to put your device, device in kind of DFU mode, but not really DFU mode. So what you do is you take it and hold the home power button down. And just keep on holding it. And then it will just flash like that, you ought to go. And it will boot up. So that would usually work if that does not work. Um, there's, you can either re jailbreak or, I mean, I, you can, well, this is what you can do. You can re jailbreak it through uh, Red Snow or whatever you, you jailbreak it with. Um, or if that doesn't even work, which usually it does, you can go on your computer and the worst thing is restore it. And that's the worst thing that could happen. Or uh, also, what you could do is, this is kind of right jailbreaking it, put your iPod into DFU mode, here load it up, put your iPod into DFU mode, then go into Cydia, and then press on just boot, and in Cydia and press on just boot, and usually that will work. Alright guys, um, I made this video longer than I wanted to, so I'm just going to end it here. And yes, yeah, so be to rate, rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch my other videos. And peace. I'll see you guys later.